pink weapons. So yes, we're an enchanter because we felt more confident working on, on items rather than trying to cast spells in front of people. In fact, we got so shy that we can only cast spells at night. Also, because we're so shy, we don't want to admire piano. You're playing Oblivion? <gasps> Well, that way you can play at the same time as Nolene, so, you know, the two of you can be Oblivion buddies. It's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, so yes, we're so, so shy, which also why we are not gonna have. I think OK Proly is where I tested things. Oops. In fact, we are so, so shy that uh, we don't admire people either. And then one day we had some skooma. We didn't know what it was. It was like a, a, a bubbly, sparkly, ruby red potion and we drank it. And, um, and we found that it helped us. It really helped us. So we're, we're growing, slowly growing an addiction to skooma. And we, we've already had to resort to crime to pay for, you know, things. It was petty crime. We, we stole eggs. But you know, it's the beginning of the end. It's the, the beginning of a slippery slope. So we're gonna end up joining the Kamonatong. Also, one of our goals is to join House Lalu because you guys decided that's what we should do. So that's what it is. We're loading the area that looks good. Your character is Potato Nolene. <laughs> I'm sure she's happy with that. Thanks for the reminder, Zeriba. Yesterday, Potato Lean became the hero of Kvatch, just like that. Mm. Uh, in my game it's uh, it's delayed so it has to I have to do quite a few things before I can even try to be the hero of Kavach. there I drank now all right so since we cannot have um, NPC companions we have peep and Paxon Oh, I still need to change. I'm. I absolutely adore this UI. I think it's my favorite. I was very keen on the chocolate UI. I like that. I'm also very happy with uh, our, the one I have with my rebirth install. This is my favorite UI. The only thing that I haven't kept is the crosshair. Um, even then, I used the the Azura star, but it was not good for archery. I don't need this to be too big. One thing that I do not like though is the the, the the swirl we get for the enchanted items. I don't like it. It's kind of nice that it has a different color for those that are enchanted. But yeah, now I'm gonna have to grab mine. I can't even find the original download. So from Morrowind install to Morrowind install. I copy the magic item texture over to the next <laughs> install. I, I can't find it. I've been looking all over the Morrowind modding history and I can't find it. So I'll have to I'll have to do that. Piano, you are playing without any mod. No, it's not a silly thing to do. I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't say that. And here is Paxon. Our trusted friend. Paxon. Uh, in fact, I really admire people who can still play the game uh, unmodded. I, I really do. And I, I need my mods now. I don't think I... I should try, actually. I should really, really, really try. I was, uh, I was very surprised a few months ago. I played Minecraft. Minecraft is a disease. It comes and goes. I don't know if it's seasonal or something, but every once in a while I want to play Minecraft and I play it intensively for three weeks and then and then I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> during that last uh, Minecraft um, fever, I I streamed it and I decided to stream uh, 1.13. I think it's still 1.13 now. Anyway, vanilla. And I was surprised I really, really enjoyed it. I felt like I was rediscovering the game. And that's when I thought, maybe I should do a vanilla challenge. Maybe I should, maybe, yeah, maybe I should. But then if it's vanilla, I know where to get, you know, some some glass items. I know, I know how to get a fortune with potions and soul gems. 
I don't know, but maybe. You are going to play more win on modded. Uh Marriott, good, perfect. Do do grab uh the the code patch, like the, the bare minimum, the things that are going to fix a number of bugs. I would really recommend you do that. Just that. No nothing else really. Um uh, nothing that will change the gameplay or the values of anything. Just uh the the big fat patches that fix a lot of things. That's what I would recommend, even for for a first time. And do let me know how it goes. And do hang on, do I? Yeah, I see. I see you live when uh, when I'm checking Twitch in the morning. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you. Jean Dark, hello, welcome. Zereva, you're saying you are playing as a mage, but I could be pretty much anyone with my dagger since I hit so freaking fast. I stun like them, and you kill them. I have to restrict myself to use spells which are simply worse. That's uh I mean it is a common issue with um with the Elder Scrolls, like you tend to play the same sort of characters. I mean Skyrim it's a well known fact that everybody ends up being a sneaky archer. Not everybody. It's a gross generalization. But the short short blades in Morrowind is really, really good. Like you hit them so fast. Which is why we have rules. Lots and lots and lots of rules. You recommend delayed Dark Brotherhood for first timers. Yes, you're right. The Dark Brotherhood attacking you um, straight away is a little, it's a little harsh. You're not going to stream mornings anymore. You got a job. Yay. I mean, you, you know, you know what I mean. I'm glad you got a job because that's always um, a priority, I think. And um but I'm sorry that you won't be streaming in the morning. Who am I going to raid in the morning then? Tell me. It's, there's not a lot of uh, people streaming in the morning. Um, I mean, you play as a vanilla mage, which is supposed to be... I know, like vanilla, you do have short blade as a, as a minor skill, I think. But but if you're playing as a, as a mage, you probably don't want to be stabbing everyone. Right. So this character... Now, this is an, a saved game from a different install that I've transferred to that one. A number of things could go wrong, <laughs> okay? So you've been warned. You have 10 daggers in your EQ. What's your EQ? HQ? You'll tell me. Wait until enemies are HP sponges and killing one breaks your weapon. They do that? Your equipment. Oh, <laughs> and Jean Dark, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, make yourself comfortable. We are going to do things. That's, that's it. I'm, I'm going to quest. We don't have all that many quests. We're still level one. We're an enchanter. We have spells, but we're not really good at anything. Thank you for making it rain, Zeriva. And she calls herself a gamer. <laughs> I don't call myself a gamer. I, I don't, actually. Moro window at times, but okay, there is the Dwemer puzzle box that we would need to get. Uh, that didn't we do that? Please tell me I still have the potion. Yes, so we can go to Aldrin and return the potion. There's that. Uh, Oblivion vanilla enemy scaling is infamous. Yes, which means that in the end of combat, you're just going me, mm, 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 mm. Then again, I need to, I need to really get into Oblivion, but it's crazy. You see this character, she's level one. She's done practically nothing, and yet she has a whole story. And if I lose her, correction, when I lose her, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. My Oblivion characters, I can't, I don't know, I don't, I don't, bond with them so much I don't know after beating blood moon with my full mage character I kind of feel like I'm done with it even though I didn't do that much else aside from the mages guild and house Sylvani. give it time like I think Morrowind is uh, is also a disease for me it's a uh, Minecraft civilization and Morrowind but Morrowind is a constant they're the sort of games like one day I just really want to play them I'm sorry don't force it just when you fancy it play it right night is there hello sunday treats you super well quite well 
I did get up early so I could try to fix this or finish installing it and I think I have and um, and then I had to work today and those weren't very easy uh, lessons but you know you win some you lose some and then I went out to the, to the park so I could say yes I did go out and then here we are and we're gonna try to not kill anyone that's the plan we are super super poor I mean that's kind of a constant with us that's why we wanted to steal all these eggs okay the plan is let me check all the quests that we have the plan is we're gonna do maybe we should just get rid of the pilgrimages like you know Vivek uh, Fields of Kumu these are rather easy to do I suppose we could do that before going back to uh, Balmora where we will find the stolen reports and we travel to Aldrin to return the potion and at some point we have to steal eggs what is this outside world you're speaking of it's a um, it's a it's a scary place um, but they are people and and the people they they're like they're in 3d they're not on the screen it's very very confusing oopsie I I made a mistake just there <laughs> I did that last time didn't I already now it's gonna be kind of hard to get out of here okay Bert Ah yes, he wants me to get a book in Balmora. Now we're gonna have to do that. I'm summoning all of my companions in that corner of the room. Thank you. So I can go through the door. So it's VR. <laughs> it's something like that. Yes. Yes, he's, he's adorable, isn't he? We, we love Peep. I don't remember if with her we tried to kill this guy. And, and now I must say I'm a little traumatized. When was it we did uh, the rebirth install? With er It's a crazy install. It's a rebirth, uh, Morrowind rebirth install. That does make the game somewhat more challenging. Though I don't think it's more challenging than what we have here. But on top of that, we have all the level list de-leveled. Meaning that at level 1, you can have enemies from level 1 to 100 and, uh, <laughs> and getting out of Satanine was particularly difficult. Do you think the two of you can uh, keep me alive? No, not you, Bert. No. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Zeriva. Ooh, I'm going to have to say lots and lots and lots. Just give me a second. Um, health bars. And the bird is actually not mine. I know. It's a scary, scary thought. All right, Zeriva, let me have a look at that translation. Before I forget and you, you tell me off chat, oh hi. And welcome, guys. You did survive without me and all that. So, now that the spring is in the air, when those two wet gits with their girly curly hair in a million different ways from the shores of Spain to the coast of southern France, no matter where you hide, you just can't escape this dance. What is that from, Zeriva? Let me try that in French, shall we? Alors, maintenant que le printemps est dans l'air, Quand ces deux imbéciles avec leurs cheveux de fille. Curly. Oh my goodness. Bouclé. <laughs> I promise I'm French. Avec leurs cheveux de fille bouclés euh, d'un million, million de façons différentes. Euh, des côtes de l'Espagne jusqu'aux côtes du sud de la France. Peu importe où vous êtes, vous ne pouvez pas échapper à cette danse. There, I'm taking your septems for that, Zeriva. It's done. It's too late. You can't get them back. It's from the chicken song. Ah, oh. you see, uh, and you, you did educate me. We did listen to it on stream only because Aurel made me. But no. didn't we? The what now? The chicken song. <coughs> oh or, no! Wait, I'm being confused with the skeleton song. 
Anyway, memes never work for me. Morwin and Neville, aka how the Imperial dispose of prisoners, just say to bring them just say sorry, just say them to bring a package. Yes. It was just crazy. Like we were we were in Sadanine and towards Pelagiad there was a level five outlaw and behind a level thirty outlaw. Down there I couldn't kill the guy there. Barely we killed one, we couldn't kill the second one. Then over there there was there was a an invisible Khajiit that just killed us immediately. In Sadanine there was a shade. And then a little bit off Sadanine there was those gigantic mud crabs. And because we have the obligation to first walk to a place before we use the, the fast travel, we were so stuck. It was brilliant. It was amazing. Can I can we try that? I feel like trying that. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm level one. I'm um, chilly. Well, we'll go indoors. That's good. How do I keep myself alive? We go with a shadow melt. How long do you last? 30 seconds. We totally rely on peep to do the damage here. Because I know I won't. I'm an enchanter. I do have a few. What's the day? I'm not. Sorry. I'm not supposed to cast spells yet. I'm, I'm t one hour and a half too early. Not allowed to cast a spell. So I'm waiting for the chameleon effect to go away. I am chilly. I know. Do I have a torch that I can hold? There we go. It's much better. Much better. Yeah, this is uh, this is the place where your your courage is tested. Okay, it's still not time for me to cast spells, but hopefully, I can use I can use invisibility. It might be a little too much. We can start with a toxic cloud. And oh, we'll start with a toxic cloud and hide behind peep. That's the plan. Oh, we've been there. See? It's, sorry, it's been way too long. Did we kill more than these guys? These I freed them. I freed them. Now remember. See, we're, we're already strong. I'm sorry. It's been what? Two weeks since we did a proper run with permadeath. We did clear. We did not clear the place. There's still one. And I'm not getting game sound, by the way. So tell me about your last permadeath, Gripple. In my last permadeath attempt, Alaric didn't make it out of his cave alive. Oh, You have Alaric too? I hope you treat him well. Uh, setting audio. And there's not much of music, but in fact we have everything. And there we go. So much better when that, you know. Okay, how do I kill this guy? My ring doesn't seem to be doing anything. Was it on touch? It is on touch, stupid. Peep. It's gonna be kind of hard to assist them there. But we did it. Well done. Well done, Peep. You can move now. So I did remember reasonably well. We did not manage to clear this completely. The slave didn't last long either. He somehow managed to kill himself with levitation while indoors. Huh? That's 
that's really weird how did he do that i know in oblivion i've lost a couple of uh, companions because they got stuck in the wall and then they were taking damage <sighs> random smug was just chilled there the whole time while her companion was rotting <laughs> yeah it's like they were like i'm standing here nothing will stop me these are actually quite valuable of course we were here because oh but you know i did transfer the game now we have skooma and we have pants of the jaguar that's brilliant and a bottle and is that moon sugar yes i'm not sure which replacer that is Nifery stalks, stalks wine. Oh well, we're not a drunk. Like we're we're building our skooma addiction. Not so much. Not no. Sorry, beep. I mean, go away for now. I'll call you when I need you. No, really. Beep is so sweet, but no. Back on. Come on. Sorry, what happened to the scarf? Is the scarf season over? Yes, it's uh, it's actually quite hot. So no scarf for now. You know, for now. Who knows? And uh, the way the way the the room is, we have one window, and when the summer comes in, it gets really, really, really hot. What difficulty are we playing right now? I'm level one. The difficulty is zero, and it goes up two points for every level. That's, you know, on top of the, the mods that make the game more challenging. So the difficulty goes automatically. Yeah, I like it too. I think. <laughs> I think. There's no bug that can kill levitating companions when moving through doors. There should be patches for that already. Yes, I, I would think so. But then... No, Gripples, you, you, you've already patched your game properly for sure. And it's not like I have an awful lot of heavy things that I want packs on to carry. My bed, my alchemy con stuff. And that's it. Peep, this is your new home. I hope you like it. Okay. So now this is in fact cleared. So I guess we, we did go in there first and then I got scared and I got out. That happens. Let's warm up a little bit. Charmed, hello, thank you so much for the host. Welcome on in. We're just getting started. I mean, yeah, kinda. And um, and we're still alive, which is amazing for a level one enchanter without, you know, any good skills, really. But oh my god, I am not sure I'll be able to to have the patience to load the game through the mod organizer. I really thought I had broken it. I was like, oh, Griffles, thank you so much for the host as well. Gentlemen, I think you're, you're a bit too late to be first, but nice try, nice try. All right, oh, it's pretty, pretty close, pretty cold around here. Hopefully, we can make it to Pelagiad and and then get a room there. It was worth a shot. I mean, literally worth a hundred septims. Uh oh. Uh oh. Peep. Peep, I miss you so much already. Oops, I shouldn't have gone in the water. Peep. Here you are, Peep. Follow me. Semi logs, Ariva, no problem. What? What are you? 
What are you chasing already? It's not the outlaw. It's the bat. How deadly is a bat? Do you think I can... Uh, Come on, come on. Almost. I'm cold, I know. Um, what you didn't know is if you do first and you aren't first, it zeroes all. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. It's very cruel. No, I don't, I don't think I'm <laughs> that could be fun actually. All right, question is, can we take on this outlaw? We are cold, which means we have a weakness to cold. And we lose some agility. And we're a bit peckish as well, though. We can fix that. Peep, you're with me? Oh, crap, there's two of them. Let's go from the road. I'm a little worried. That's why I'm quick saving. Because right now these guys are not aggressive. And I think that maybe I've quick saved and I will allow myself to reload because that's finding out about how the the engine reacts. But I think Am I getting a bounty on that? I apparently not. Sorry, peep. Oh, damn it. Oh, it is night time. I'm allowed to use my real spells. Not that they are much, much better. Paxon will not. Paxon is a, uh, like, he's a tank, but it doesn't have the, the damage. I don't want to get too close to this guy. I don't want to trigger the, the force greeting. Oh! I didn't see him. Just make up your mind. You're running, you're not running. My goodness, it's gonna take me... Come on, die. No, come on. There. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think you're gonna have my gold. Goodbye. Okay, this time he is dead. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Nice try. Uh, is that any... Oh, that was a monk. That was a monk NPC. A wooden buckler. I'm not sure. Peep just one hugs, you know what? There you go. No, no, not the mouse. There we go. Alright, so the second guy is going to be an outlaw from uh, Cutthroat Mods. I'm still pretty cold. You know what? I'm gonna keep him for next time. It's cold. Let's go, let's go to Pelagia if we can. You think, you think if you saw a cute guar like that run towards you, I don't know, guars are cute. One of the, one of the goals we have is uh, to become a, a guar herder where we want to get uh, Corky and uh, Rolly and the white guar. Okay, let's go. Who are you? Are you seriously? Another one? I find that a bit surprising that 
Oops, my crime has been reported. But weren't you an outlaw? You are an outlaw. That's the problem with, and it's uh, it's my own fault. I mean, my own fault. It's just a way to do it. Uh, basically, these NPCs, their their aggressivity is at thirty, which is like any normal NPC. That way, they don't start attacking attacking you the moment they see you. Instead, when you approach them, they give you this dialogue, meaning that if I see them in a distance and I attack them like I did just now, I get a bounty. So that's a bit of a shame. What's that light over there? What's that light over there? Sorry, I'm confused with the light over there. Was it my spell that was still flying, maybe? Also, my bounty is what now? A hundred. Which I cannot pay. <laughs> well, hopefully this guy has a hundred septims in, on himself. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. So, we're, we're changing the plan. We're not going to Pelagia to rest. Yeah, he's still running away. Okay, let's finish him off. And I'm gonna hope... Hang on, if I finish him off now, is my bounty going to be greater? That happens in real life too, when I assault people preemptively, just in case the cops come after me for some reason. Yeah, better be careful about that. And let's uh, teach the fireflies that we are not friends. My um, my rebirth character, um, she's a Nord, and we decided. Well, we, I decided that she had uh, grown up by the sea, and the crabs were her friends. So we we let the crabs fight for us. My crime has been reported again. Now I have a bounty of a thousand. There's no way he's gonna have a thousand. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life. Yeah, I mean, luck is not gonna be enough, is it? Completely messed up trying to defend myself against those guys. And in the meanwhile, I'm still cold. What do I do, guys? <laughs> what do I do? Like, even if I say I make it to... I find an agent who's going to remove my bounty. I still have to pay 500, right? You need to pay the agent half of what you would pay. This is a dire situation and we're lost, so it's a good time to have skooma. If only that could warm us up, but no. Seriously, what do we do? We have a bounty we cannot pay. We don't even have enough to pay an agent. We level one. We are cold. We are tired. Skuma, well, yeah. I mean, that, that, was, that was the first idea that came to her mind, obviously. But... I feel I feel it might not be a permanent situ solution. <sighs> How do I make at least 500 septims? I mean, I can go and steal the eggs. If I manage to sell the eggs without getting the attention of the guards, I could get 500 and then hang on. Do the agents, the Thieves Guild agents, do they agree to remove my bounty even if I'm not a member of the Thieves Guild? All that because of, cra of a crappy, crappy bandit. I mean, I did quick save before because I suspected that it might happen. But... You risk to die when in prison because of the need mods. Yes, definitely. Though it should be... Do you want to test it? I mean, we got nothing to lose. 
Because I don't think I can get rid of that bounty, you know, with uh, any sort of means. So let's see what happens. Hello, Balmora. Oh, Balmora Pelagiad. I've always liked Pelagiad. I know there was a there was a massive expansion that was being worked on, like really massive, adding loads of things. Yeah, yeah. I surrender. Oh. Okay, I surrender. <laughs> it's like I surrender. No. <laughs> I have no idea what's their problem. Maybe I should go and talk to them. Maybe I should help them. Okay, hello. I will go to jail. A sentence of hard labor. I'm gonna stink like crazy, crazy, crazy stink. And then I think that screen is frozen for a long time. I'm getting weaker from being so dirty. That's what dirt does. Yeah, and then I think Charm, you, you got the same thing, didn't you, when you were arrested? Then you're just stuck there. So even, you know, serving my time, sure, I can do that. But then it doesn't let me do anything. Troll Imperials, like... Oh, yours crashed outright. No, me, I'm still, I'm still looking at it. I smell awful, time is passing, but I can't do anything else. So it, it, it makes me sad to actually make the game crash, but that's what we're going to have to do. And then, and then we can, uh, you know, reload it. I hope you have two or three minutes. I'm going to have to seriously think of something. Um, something fun to do while the game's loading. It was such a revelation charm when we talked the other day. I was, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now I do have a challenge for you guys. Yes, you, yes, this is ready. The game is launching, which means we have five minutes. I would like to see if you can, um, it's not Todd, it's not Todd. Like, I think Todd is so busy with messing up with your installs that uh, mine, mine just uh, self-destroy. That's what they do. Um, let's try something while the game is loading forever. We're gonna try to build a pyramid. I have no idea how to do that. But if I do, let me see. If I go somewhat in the middle, it doesn't matter which emote you use. All right, let's, let's do that. I, I want to see a pyramid until my game is <laughs> launched. Well, that's not going to do a pyramid. How do I put that in the middle of the line? Do I have to go dot, 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 dot? I have no experience. Guys, have you ever built a pyramid in the chat? If so, explain. Explain like, uh, like I've never done that. Uh-oh, I might have alt tab of the game loading, which is bad. Hey, bouncy bucket. We got two. Well, that's not very fast, guys. I mean, I know the pyramids took forever to build and there were really, really lots of, eh, maybe not slaves, but workers. Thank you, Prof. Oh, you're grilling the chairs. Is that what's happening? Keep looking at the game loading. I should, I should be quiet and patient. Who's gonna give us four? Oh, uh, by the way, I see the, the little uh, emotes that change. Um, after the vote in the Discord, it's been decided that the next emote is gonna be that one, the, the cyborg. I'm not quite sure when you want to use that one, but you voted for it, so that's the one we're gonna have. I should have timed exactly how long it takes more winter load. And, and I know what you said, Sean, that I should merge some ESPs that reduces the loading time. But then, what's the point of having a nice mod organizer if I still need to tinker with the, with the ESPs? Thank you, Maria. 
I know why you need a lot of time, it's because you want to make sure you select all the cutest emotes you have at your disposal. I hear ya, I hear ya guys. Who's gonna give us five? And there might be, you know, cries of outrage, but I'm gonna reload the game from before we attacked the first outlaw. Hee! For my basic graphic upgrade, I merged about 95 ESP into 5. That's because you have, those are lots of replaces, which I, I decided to not have this time. There we go. The game is, is like, it's switched from the tiny window to the big window. Now it's loading. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! So the best we could do is four. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note of that. And the name of the game is Build the Biggest Pyramid Before the Game Loads Again. It's a game, I just made it up. Maybe it's lame. What do you know? Initializing data might take a while. Also, I decided to not go crazy and not have all kind of splash screens in it. But I kind of really miss some of them. So I had the quick save that was before fighting with the first outlaw. And for some reason I didn't get a bounty with that first one. Which is fine, I'm going to approach the outlaw and, and fight him off properly. Now I know we can't go to jail, we just can't go to jail. And I think if you go to jail for just one day it's not as bad. So it really could be a matter of the longer you're in jail, the longer the, you know, the screen stays the way it is for time passing. I'm not sure. The proxy dog. Not exactly a cute puppy, honestly. Recently, the tribunal priest served a stint. Oh, brilliant. I made a game crash. Well, good news, I can join you for the sixth house. And even better news, you do get an extra chance to do better with the pyramid. I, on the other hand, I'm not going to touch anything because I don't want to alt-tab of the game. I think it's because I alt-tabbed out of the game while it was loading. Can somebody give me one emote, please? As soon as you've joined the sixth house. <laughs> Thank you, Bouncy Bucket 2. Prof, can you give me two emotes, please? Maybe maybe that's what you need. You need someone to, to direct you. Thank you. That was too... Um, we've broken it. Nah, we've broken it. I'm sorry. We had one, two, two, three. You have to start from scratch. Can I have one emote, please? <laughs> I would have done great in Egypt as a taskmaster for the pyramids I think I think of it as a new career maybe now you're not trying the pyramid again oh come on we can do so much better than three all right bouncy bucket please give me one Bow to puppy sorcerer. No, 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 no. There's no puppy sorcerers ever. And and three is not good. One. Thank you. Uh, Maria, please give me two. Nice, gentlemen. You were faster. Good. And then three. Good. Then four. Oh, there is the puppy sorcerer. The game is loading, everything is good. For... Mm, uh oh. Ash Vampire that... Oh wow, well done. Well done guys. The Ash Vampire is strong. Thank you for... Dun, dun, dun. Thank you Zeriver for remembering all the fallen heroes. This is so sad. Mm -hmm. 
gonna have to think of uh, proper rules for the pyramid game. I'm thinking obviously it must be unbroken, so no chat in between. The numbers must be respected. And then every time there's a new record, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kitten sorcerer. And then every time there's a new record, we. One layer per person. Yes, that's another one. Okay, so we want consecutive numbers. We want no line of chat. One per person. And I think that every time we, you know, make a taller pyramid, I should do a quick giveaway. I still have a few uh, spare keys, so I can totally do that. And the game is launching. You can't see it. You want to be the three emote guy, but what if you're not here, Zeriva? What if you're not here? But then again, I do agree. It would be ideal if... Um, when you know the time to build a pyramid happens if you say <laughs> no Zeriva, river no pyramid in fact no Zeriva, river no fun in fact Zeriva, river from now on if you're not here i'll just cancel the stream what's the point what's the point i never get to speak french unless you you pay septems to make me speak french so yeah yeah pyramid game it's a thing. I'll think of the rules. But yeah, when we start a pyramid, maybe it would be a good idea if from the beginning you say two, if you want to be the, the two emote guy and three, organize, you know, cooperate and of that. When did you become so cheeky, by the way? Yeah. Please just load the game. It's a quick save. It's not as good as a hard save, but it's pretty solid. Right, Morrowind? I'm very, very polite with my Morrowind. Was it Friday where I started, if you crash again, and I didn't have time to finish my sentence and Morrowind crashed before before I could even start my threat. It was, it was so humiliating, let's, uh, let's admit it. I suppose I could even gift a sub. Maybe we'll see. Okay. So the good news, we don't have a bounty. The bad news, we still have two outlaws that we need to kill. And that only took what? 10 minutes? So I, I did just hydrate very well, but thanks. Here we go. What an area I'm loading. So many things. Okay, here we are. That is the way to Pelagiad. Okay, shall we try to do this the right way? As in, I cowardly go around the guy and avoid trouble. You know, since apparently uh, attacking him from behind and without any warning is not acceptable in the eyes of the low, then I'll just go around the guy until I'm a little stronger, okay? We'll do that. And, and Paxon is gone. We'll find him again for sure. So no crazy guard attacking me. That's good. That's not stealing, okay? They were there, they're available, and money is tight. Outlaws are protected by a low. That is a concept, it's a thing, it's a thing. I so, so wish that the creature companions from uh, CM Partners could be told to wait outside. Maybe I should uh, make an extra tweak for that mod. What do we do? We're really, really shy. Like, we're just too afraid to talk to people. However, hear me out. You know how some people, they, 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 would, uh, they would have a lisp or they would stammer when they speak, but then when they sing, 
it's completely different. It's not the same thing, and they don't feel afraid. They don't. They don't stammer. They just sing beautifully. Are we that sort of person? Are we the sort of person who would have problems speaking to people? However, uh, only with skooma. Totally. Totally doable. Totally doable. And for the performance, we're gonna take the hat off. No! No! I missed the time! Are you kidding me? No! Ugh! My dreams as an artist crushed just because I took the time to take my hat off, drink my skooma, you know, to give me courage. It's too late. It's not time to perform anymore. Oh, well then, I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, I'm tired. I do need a bed, please. 30 septims? I don't have 30 septims. Like, I was really counting on whatever septims I was gonna make from my performance to pay for my room. <sighs> uh, apparently, they don't want to trade with me if I have those things. Lots of moon sugar as well. Mmm, good stuff. So disappointing, it was the right time. I love these bottles. They are Korana's bottle and I'm really really happy to see them again. Okay, we need to make oh no, 41. When did I become so rich? I thought I had 37. So all our money goes into getting a bed. Oh, she said, did you see that? She asked for 30 but in the end she only took 10. It's like all of a sudden, we are lucky. Let's go with only six hours, so we have a little bit of time where we can use the spells before it's morning again. Uh, hello. What, what are you doing there? For a second, I thought it was Alaric. Rebirth? I don't think I can get those in Rebirth. Or maybe I didn't install it properly. But now... Uh, I can't have those... You know, the, the plain boarded windows and you can see the... You can see the, the fog, the, the nothingness of the cell between the cracks. I don't want that anymore. Ooh, Peep is a... Uh, is really, really good friend with a Nasi. We're... We're what now? What is our problem? We're thirsty, okay, we can take care of that. But why is my endurance drained? It's not. Now my speed is drained. Fields of Kumu. And I think then all the way to Vivek, if we can, um, if we can make it to the other shrines, that would be a good thing done. Then maybe we can move on and do the temple quest. Why did we join the temple? Do you remember that? I don't quite remember why we chose the temple over the imperial cult. I mean, we're dumb now. Though that on its own is not enough of a reason. Do you think we can swim? We just need to reach the island over there. We have Peep with us. It's morning. No, it's still evening. That's the only way we can get the muck. Because right now... Oh, I do have muck already. Okay. 
Then we'll go round. Are we practicing with the crab first? Yeah, completely soaked. The water seems too cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I'm fairly certain. I'm gonna have to somehow warm up. I mean, I could... I could actually warm up here. I'm an idiot! Why do I pay for an inn when we have this completely available? There's even, even stuff. Just as peep, just take your paw off my chest. Peep is very, very eager. <laughs> Every time, it's like that's something. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, modify the script and or dialogue for CM partner beasts, so that you can tell them to stay outside because it's really quite annoying. So let's. Um, I need you in this corner of the room. Thank you. Whew. No, sorry, that's not what I want. Mud crab training. It's uh, not eight, so we can't use. We can't use spells. Yay, well done us. At the same time, maybe we shouldn't have killed the mud crab. How are we gonna train next? We can train with a rat. Look at that model for the rat. Yes, blunt, that's good. How far are we from getting a level? Oh, <laughs> quite far, still. Um, I should do a little bit more for endurance, maybe. That couldn't hurt, you know. Clisp! Long time no see, how are you? Pretty good. Well, I like to hear that. What have you been up to? I don't think I've seen you stream recently. You keep forgetting to tune in. Nah, don't worry. I mean, obviously, I'm happy to have you here, but it's not like I got my attendances. I go, hang on, this wasn't here today. You've been playing other games. What has been keeping your attention lately? Okay, I like that. So far, it's nice, it's peaceful. Nothing compared to that deleveled world that we have with uh, with Rebirth. This is so pretty. We've already done the flower quest, so I shouldn't worry about picking up flowers. And I do have alchemy as a skill. Yes, I do. And maybe I should try to, you know, work on that even if it means using flowers and make rubbish potions I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep the first person animation uh, I have it in a rebirth install and simply having that massive weapon swing in front of your nose all the time I'm getting, I mean, I'm assuming you're an outlaw. That's really odd. Why am I getting so many of them? There's only like a, it's not impossible, mind you, but I think there's only just a 40% chance that an outlaw be spawned. And, and now what, there's two of them. Peep, you with me? And we are fatigued, so we're definitely not starting the fight in this condition. 
Working on alchemy, potion failed, potion failed, potion failed, potion failed, potion failed. You created a potion, potion failed. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, yep, we have CM partners. I did modify it a little bit. Um, what did I modify? <laughs>